Hello and welcome to a new Crispy HP video and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use the templates in Cubase. For example, I'm going to be teaching you how to open and use a template and create a template. So first I'm going to show you what a template is and how to open one. You'll go to File and Lose Project. You should be presented with this dialog with templates, and all these are the available templates you can use. You have a couple C5, which is Cubase 5 templates, that come with it. You have a default template, and then you have your custom templates here, which is whatever you want. So to open a template, you basically double click or click and click OK. So I'm going to go with an empty template first. Now, to create your template, basically start with the empty template and then add what you need. For example, I'm going to add two group tracks, one for vocals and one for drums. Then I'm going to add a simple room reverb. Let's type in room and go with a hard room and turn the pre-DNA and that down. 95 I'm going to name this room reverb I'm going to create another one for a plate reverb so let's go to reverb, room works ok and instead of room I'm going to type plate go with vintage take off the pre-DNA and bring that down to Let's say 0.60. Now this is what I normally use in most of my uh, projects, but of course your workflow would be different to what I'm doing now, so you'd probably choose something else. I'm going to create five tracks and move these up to the top, and these are going to be kick. Uh, hi hat overhead left and overhead right and then you can pan these wherever I'm going to go with left 50 and right 50 and then of course you can actually group these in a preset uh, template as well so they're all going to be grouped to a drum track gr drum group, sorry and that's all done, you can even put compressors on say you want a Steimer compressor you can set the compressor up on any, let's say you want that on the vocals. So that's what we want in our group. Then even you can like bring up the mixer and link channels and such so we can like actually I'm not gonna link those just yet. We can link the overheads so they both work at the same time. So that's pretty much the basic workflow I use. So I'm gonna go to file and then save as a template and I'm going to name this tutorial template number 2 because I've already got one and then I can close this without saving go to file, new project and there we have tutorial template number 2 click open, choose a location and then we have what we just created, we have the link channels and left and right, we have the vocal chain, the drums compressor and the reverbs. So that's how you make and use templates. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you subscribe and come back for more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.